Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rarity One, and welcome. We've got some great Hollywood news. Hollywood eating its own. Drew Barrymore pissing off the writers and actors striking. Yeah, it's all going down. She's been calling names. It's, it's hilarious and I love to see it. Let's get, get to it. Let's have a look at what everyone's been saying. Let's go. Here we are. We are at Breitbart. Drew Barrymore slammed by Hollywood actors, writers for bringing talk show back mid strikes gross scab incredibly disappointing do you know what i find disappointing you writers you actors you writers are just writing shit at the minute absolute dog shit have you seen what's on fucking disney plus at the minute what kind of shows on disney plus absolute fucking awful secret invasion was the worst thing i've ever seen and that cost 212 million dollars anyway actress Drew Barrymore is being slammed by fellow actors and writers on social media for bringing her talk show back amid the wagon sag strikes in Hollywood. She was called gross, a scab, and incredibly disappointing. Again, I will call the writers incredibly disappointing. Barrymore announced the return of her talk show in the in a social media post on Sunday. Writing in part, I own this choice. We are in compliance with not discussing or promoting film or and television that has that is struck of any kind. So she is abiding the rules. She is abiding the rules. But she is a, a privileged person. We will find out in a second where that comes from. What a fucking idiot. Uh, we launched live in a global pandemic our show was built for sensitive times and has only functioned through what the real world is going through in real time the charlie's angel star added so i made the choice to walk away from the mtv film and television awards because i was a host and it had a direct conflict with what the strike was dealing with which was studios, streamers, film and television. It was also in the first week of the strike, and so I did what I thought was the appropriate thing to do at the time, to stand in solidarity with the writers, and to be clear, our talk show actually wrapped on April 20th, so we never had to shut down the show. However, I am also making a choice to come back for the first time in the strike for our show that may have my name on, but is bigger than just me. Let's get to some what some people have been saying. Oh, you own it for sure at Drew Barrymore and well, we'll never forget. Well done you, well done. I'm sure we'll never forget. <laughs> This is incredibly disappointing. Drew Barrymore's show employs WAG writers who are currently on strike. She is choosing to go back on the air without them and forcing her guests to cross the picket line. Drew, this harms your writers and all union workers. Please reconsider. No, please don't. Please don't. So, who was writing her opening monologue and literally everything else on this show when it starts up again next week? Scab writers? Ugh, gross. Drew Barrymore? Gross. <laughs> well done, you. Absolute well done. Fucking well done. Now, this one is a belter. Drew Barrymore has always been someone who recognised her privilege. Absolute banger. Privilege. And amid and aim to evolve, so I hope she will reconsider this hasty decision. Intended, intended to pay her crew because it weakens both unions to openly endorse scabbing. Uh, she could personally fund their salaries for eternity. Yeah, well done, you. Absolute well done, you. Fucking well done. Uh, this guy put scab and point and uh pointing at, at drew barrymore and uh you yeah, just love to see it anyway what are your thoughts on this on this um situation do you think um 
do you think anyone's going to have any sort of sympathy for the writers, the actors, or do you think anyone's going to have any sympathy sympathy for Drew? Um, do you really think anyone cares? I, I don't care about this anymore, and I don't care about the writer's strike, actor's strike. I don't care that Drew Barrymore's bringing back her show. I really couldn't give a flying F. Um, F's in the chat. Anyway, I hope you've liked this video. Please give me a like. Please give me a subscribe. If you haven't liked this video, I thank you anyway for watching. I've been Radio One. I will catch you in my next video. Peace.